Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix generic Bluetooth adapter error and the error code is 19 on Windows 10. So here you can see generic Bluetooth adapter and the error is Windows cannot start this hardware device because its configuration information is incomplete or damage code is 19. So if you are receiving this error code in device manager, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now there are multiple steps. So at the end of each step, try to use your Bluetooth still you are facing the problem then you can move on to the next step the first step is to restart your computer so go to the start menu then click on the power icon then click on restart most of the time a simple restart takes care of the problem still you are facing the problem then go ahead and run a bluetooth troubleshooter so go to the start menu click on settings go to update and security click on troubleshoot click on additional troubleshooter find bluetooth and then click on run the troubleshooter and once the troubleshoot is complete go ahead and restart your computer and then try to check your bluetooth now still you are facing the problem then you can go ahead and update your windows 10 to update windows 10 open windows 10 settings once again so go to the start menu click on settings and then go to update uh, update and security and then again click on windows update and then click on check for update and once the update is installed click on install now and once it is installed restart your computer and then you can go ahead and check your bluetooth the next step is to repair itunes so if you have itunes installed on your computer then go ahead and open apps so go ahead and type in apps or you can open windows 10 settings once again and then go to apps and click on apps and then find iTunes in the list. So go ahead and type in iTunes. And click on iTunes. And then click on advanced option. Scroll down. And here you can see the repair option. Click on repair. And once it is done, you can go ahead and check your Bluetooth. The next step is to update Bluetooth driver from device manager. So open device manager, go to the start menu, then make a right click on start menu and then click on device manager. Then select your Bluetooth device over here and then select your Bluetooth. So right now it's showing multiple devices. So I will go ahead and turn off the Bluetooth right now. So here I can see my Bluetooth so just make a right click and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers and once this is installed restart your computer and then you can go ahead and check your bluetooth now the next step still you are facing the problem then again open the device manager and make a right click on your bluetooth device make a right click and then this time click on update driver and then click on browse my computer for drivers and then click on let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then select so the first one is selected right now so go ahead and select the second one and then click on next and install it and then once this is done restart your computer and then check your bluetooth the next step is to update uh, go ahead and roll back your bluetooth driver to roll back the driver open device manager and then select your bluetooth device make a right click then select properties go to the driver tab and click on roll back driver and go ahead and roll back your bluetooth driver to a previous version and then once that is installed restart your computer and then go ahead and check your bluetooth now still you are facing the problem then go ahead and uninstall and re reinstall bluetooth driver so to uninstall again open device manager make a right click on your bluetooth and then click on uninstall device then put a check on option which says delete the driver software for this device Put a check over here then click on uninstall and once uninstall is done go to the start menu click on the power icon then click on restart and during the restart it will go ahead and update install your default uh, bluetooth driver automatically and go ahead and check the bluetooth but still you are facing the problem then you can go ahead and manually download your bluetooth driver from your pc manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have hp go to hp if you have lenovo go to lenovo so whatever brand you have go to that website so for example i'll show you for dell so go to dell.com support this is just an example 
So make sure that you visit your brand website, brand name website, and then select your model number or you can enter the serial number. And after that, go ahead and select your model number. And this is just for an example. So you have to go ahead and find the Bluetooth driver. So So here I can see Bluetooth driver. So go ahead and click on download. So go to your system manufacturer website, download it. Once you download a exe file will download, you have to go ahead and run the exe file and then follow the on-screen instruction to install the Bluetooth driver. Then restart your computer and then you can go ahead and check your Bluetooth. Now in case, uh, in my case, I have a Intel wireless Bluetooth. So if you have Intel Bluetooth device, then you can go ahead and use Intel driver support assistant. So go ahead and open any browser and you can go ahead and type in Intel driver and support assistant. So you can use this, click on Intel driver and support assistant and then click on download now. Now once you download it, once you install it, it will go ahead and scan your computer. And here you can see there is a update for Intel wireless Bluetooth for Windows 10. So if there is any kind of pending update from Intel, it will go ahead and tell you to download. So click on download all, then after that you will see the install option and then click on install and after that you can go ahead and check your Bluetooth. Now the next step is to update your system BIOS. Again go to your system manufacturer website. So whatever brand you have, go to their website and then enter your serial number and then select BIOS and then go ahead and download your BIOS. So once you click on download, a exe file will download. Now before you install a BIOS, in case of laptop, just make sure the battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer. And you disconnect all the external devices from the computer. So if you have any external hard drive, flash drive, printer cable, go ahead and disconnect all the external de devices. In case of laptop, you can keep your mouse, keyboard and monitor plugged in. But go ahead and disconnect all the external devices. Make sure the battery is more than 10% and the charger is connected to the computer, then run this exe file, update the BIOS. During the BIOS update, the system will restart. And during the restart, during the BIOS update, do not power off your computer. And once BIOS update is done, log into the computer and then you can go ahead and check your Bluetooth device. Now, the next option is to make changes in the registry. So go ahead and type in registry in Windows search. And then make a right click on registry editor and then click on run as administrator. Then click on yes to allow. And before you uh, do anything in registry, create a backup. So click on file, then click on export. And then select the download uh, where you want to save the file. So select the location. So I am selecting desktop and you can go ahead and just type in backup. And then here you can see export range, so select all and then click on save. Now it will take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute to save the file. So it's still creating a backup. So here you can see the cursor. Okay, now go to desktop and you, here you can see the backup for registry. So I've just backed up the registry. Now in case something happens, then you can always go ahead and, you know, restore your registry. So go to file and then this time click on import and then you can go ahead and select your backup and then click on open and that will go ahead and restore your registry. So you have to go ahead and delete the upper filters and the lower filters in registry so for this you have to go to this location so expand h key local machine so expand it then you have to go ahead and select system expand the system option and then you have to expand the current control set expand it and then you have to expand the control and then you have to expand the class folder so here you can see class 
And over here, you have to go ahead and find this file. So you have to find this entry over here. So you can go ahead and press Control plus F on the keyboard so that you can see the search box and then paste the, you can go ahead and paste it, copy it from here. All the, you know, uh, these commands are provided in the video description. So location is provided in the video, video description. You can copy this and then you can paste it over here and then click on find next. It will go ahead and search it and here you can see and then you have, you have to go ahead and select it and then here you can see the upper filters and here you can see the lower filters. So go ahead and delete it, make a right click and then click on delete, click on yes and for the upper filter also you can make a right click then click on delete, yes and also search for this, you can copy this, it is in the same location. This time copy this, press Control F and then paste it and then find next and here it is selected right now. So here if you find upper filter and lower filter over here, in my case it's not there. If you don't find it, don't delete it, don't delete anything else. If you don't find it, that's okay. If you find it, just make a right click and delete it and after that close the registry editor, then go to the start menu, then click on the power icon, then click on restart. And after that, you can go ahead and check your Bluetooth. Now, the next step is to perform system restore. If this does not work, you can perform system restore. To perform system restore, you can go ahead and type in system restore in Windows search, then click on create a restore point. Then under system protection, you can see system restore, click on it. Then click on next over here. And you have to, here you can see uh, different date and time. So in my case, I have only one restore point right now. So in your case, there might be multiple date and time. So you have to go ahead and select the date and time on which you are not facing the problem. So you started receiving this error code today, then make sure that you select the date for yesterday or day before yesterday. So make sure that you select a date and time on which date you were not receiving that error code, then click on next. And then you have to go ahead and click on finish it will go ahead and perform a system restore and after that once this is done you can log into the computer and that should go ahead and fix the problem but still you are facing the problem then you can go ahead and if nothing is working you can go ahead and update your windows 10 using media creation tool so copy this link the link is provided in the video description and then open any browser and then open this link and you have to go ahead and download this media creation tool so click on download tool now and then run this exe file and then it will go ahead and click on yes to allow it will go ahead and load the Microsoft media creation tool on the computer and then agree to the terms and click on accept now by default the upgrade this PC now will be checked so make sure this is checked then click on next now it will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update this process will take time and once this is complete, once it will go ahead and, um, you know, download everything. And before the installation, you will see this uh, screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep your personal files and app will be checked. Now, once this is checked, by default, this will be checked. So if this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Then click on install. And after that, it will go ahead and install Windows 10 along with the latest update. And that should go ahead and fix your Bluetooth error code. So one of the steps should have definitely help you to get rid of this error code. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.